32 years ago when I fell from a balcony and it left me totally paralyzed from the neck down without any movement or got feeling. I first was introduced to occupational therapy not long after I was, was injured. It was in the first couple of years. They started to help me, I guess, sort of expand my world. I always find it interesting looking back at kind of the collection of my, my painting, especially the earlier ones. They were very muted, gray, very safe. The brush took to be small, and I realized that it really did reflect the mood I was in at the time. I wasn't really optimistic about my future at that time, mainly because I was told there would be no future. So so it was hard to get excited about things, and and I think when you're painting, you are able to express a lot of the emotions that you're feeling, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, onto your canvas. So it was interesting to see how that evolved into much bolder strokes, much more color, uh, much just a, just a, a real fresh. A freshness and uh, I guess happiness and, and I think that sort of small step process really helped me get to you know, feeling more positive about things uh, realizing you know I can do more with my life wasn't too sure what but I knew I could leave if I can reach this dream against all the odds maybe I can reach some of the, the other dreams I have dreams I think we all have but sometimes take for granted like a job family, a home, and that's what I wanted. And I think after my injury, I, I never stopped believing I could have more. I never thought, well, I, I'm going to just live for a certain length of, of time, or I'm going to have a very small quality of life. I just really believe that there was so much more possible in who knew it's what I was capable of achieving. I didn't even know what I was capable of achieving. That's a project for the Science and Medicine's 50th anniversary was you know, very exciting for me to get involved. And because of all the great work they've done, not only for others, but for myself. So they really made a difference in my life. I think the biggest piece of advice I can give someone new to the profession, really, it's, would be you know, stay true to yourself. You know, the, the, the idealism that you had coming out of graduation and believing you can make a difference, you can make a change. I really believe people that pick kind of this profession really want to make a difference and they, it's, and they do every day. So that was an exciting one for me to get involved in and, and uh, I, I hope it's a, it's a very successful anniversary. You know, probably what I, I realized at a pretty early stage afterwards, after my injury was there was hours, even 10,000, 10,000 things I could have done before my injury, but I probably only would have done a few hundred of them. Or there was now maybe a few hundred I could do. But if I did it really well and, and appreciated them that much more, I, I could be just as successful in, in enjoying life and going after what we all want, which is happiness.